Hi everyone, it's Brandy. So I'm back again here today to paint with our patina piece that we were working on yesterday. It looks a bit different, huh? I'm excited for it. Actually, I think got a little bit better. Um, so today, if you were with me yesterday, you know that we had, it was not my, I didn't bring my A-game yesterday. So I'm hoping today will go much smoother. Um, I'm going to be painting today with um, Rita Freecott from Picked and Polished. Um, Picked and Polished is a Dixie mm -hmm. Belle retailer out of New Hampshire. Um, and Rita was so gracious yesterday when I made the error and I went on at the wrong time and she's been so sweet. Um, and I'm really excited that we're finally going to get to paint together here. Um, we're um, live today for Dixie Belle's Brand Ambassador Week. I'm a Dixie Belle Brand Ambassador. And my name is Brandy. And I'm a furniture painter out of Sacramento, California. Um, my page is Brushed by Brandy. Um, we're also today going to be giving away some Dixie Belle paint products with our You Guys Are Gonna Spin to Win. Um, and so what I need for you guys to be entered to spin to win is like and comment on this post. We're going to choose a winner at random during the live. So like and comment on this post and then share it on your pages and you guys will be um, entered to, to win. I see Rita on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and invite her on, and let's do some patina painting. <laughs> okay, Rita, do me a favor. Can you go into this broadcast and request to be added? I don't think you're an admin on the Dixie Bell page and I need you to be to be able to invite you. Can you request, I just opened it up for you to request it. There you are. Oh. Are you there? Pop up, says it's adding you. I'm nervous right now, because yesterday was rough says it's adding her. So let's give it a minute. <gasps> it is <Hi>! <laughs> <laughs> Are you so happy right now? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's so I was exciting. Sweating bullets. Sweating. <laughs> Me too. Oh. My husband was on the phone and I was like, I think we just need to rotate it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it has to be exactly. sideways. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah. So everyone, this is Rita Freecott. She is so amazing. Hi, she has been so gracious to me. Um, Rita, you're in New Hampshire, right? Yes. Yep. New Hampshire. Yeah. Alexandria, a little tiny town in New Hampshire. Okay. So, and I see your yeah, sign behind you. Right. You guys are a shop called Picked and Polished. Yes, we have a little shop in Alexandria called Picked and Polished, and we do like um, tons of custom signs and repurpose and refinish furniture, and um, gosh, what else do we do? We do lots of custom orders, and we like to teach people how to do their own home decor, and how we've started doing workshops this year, so that's been really exciting for us, so. Wow. But you've been in I was looking at because I I was looking at your page today and you were, you are so creative and so crafty. I'm so impressed. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. I feel the same way about you. Um, so I owe you a huge thank you because yesterday was, yesterday was awful. I wanted to cry on camera and you were so gracious oh, no. and forgiving. Thank you. I'm so no. sorry. You know what? I, no, please don't be. You know what? I feel like I could have been there a million times over because anybody that knows me knows that that easily could have been me. <laughs> Especially when you have little kids around and you can't. Yeah, no, I, I would be lying if I said that wouldn't, that hasn't happened to me or that probably will happen to me at some point. So I totally get it. And I'm just thankful we get to do this tonight and rock with some patina on our dressers. So yes, I'm show me your piece. What are you going to be, what are you going to work on? Okay, so this is a dresser. It's got, um, it's like as soon as I saw it, I thought, ooh, mermaid. Because look at the little 
little tail like down here doesn't this look like it you get hold on my husband's holding the camera but he can't quite see what he's doing so this to me looked like a mermaid tail so i think patina lends itself to um because look at this you guys patina doesn't it lend itself to like the scales of a mermaid i just feel like um, so I already started a bit of it, but I, cause I wanted everyone to see what the patina would look like when I was, you know, cause it's a kind of a long process yeah. as far as like, as far as like how long it takes to actually get the full effect. So, um, I'm going to make the mermaid body patina and the fins and the tail patina and I might, and I'm definitely going to do the accents and maybe the top. And then I might do some antiquing wax to kind of give it like an old age sort of been sitting at the bottom of the sea sort of look. So when you showed me the mermaid, I had no idea. You are a genius. How you're incorporating the shell detail that's on the bottom of that is perfect. <laughs> Perfection. Like we'll see. Tell, maybe maybe when I'm done, you may yeah. uh, change your mind. My husband's pointing to himself like, um, that was my idea, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, he he's not on camera, so he doesn't get any credit no, tonight. No credit. No, no, it was all me. All me. <laughs> And you, I love the way yours is coming out. I can see it behind you. Let me see. Isn't it funny? Because when I got off yesterday, it was much more coppery. And, and it has turned into this beautiful <gasps> teal blue with wow. some, you know, some rusty details in there. Um, I, I love the colors in there. But it's totally not what you would have thought when I was working on it yesterday. Yeah, I, I absolutely um, love it. It reminds me of the Patina paint has a life of its own, and that's the, like, you give up control. Yes, yeah, I, and that's part of the reason why I love it is because every time, it's a surprise. And if you don't love yeah. the way that it comes out, you can just go right over it with a little more patina paint, a little more spray. Yeah. And so there's, I don't ever feel, like, nervous because I feel like no matter what, I can always, like, add back layers or I can add a little more spray or add different colors over it or whatever so it's kind yeah of, it's fun exactly process. I came I came back to this last night and did a, and added a little there was a couple barren spots that I just touched up but they blend in seamlessly you can't even tell now so oh man um, it looks so good. love it so I left my sides open what I said, I'm going to want to buy it when you're done. <laughs> Great, because I need to sell something. <laughs> My okay, garage is okay. packed. Well, you buy mine and I'll buy yours. Oh, that sounds smart. Great. Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll pay shipping across the country, too. Okay. Good idea. All right. That sounds good to me. All right. We're going to deal. So I left my sides undone. So I'm gonna work on on the sides with you while you're while you're doing patina painting. I'm gonna do some too. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna just quickly explain what I did beforehand with my. Sorry about my crazy hair. It's always crazy. Um, yeah. I'm gonna no, explain I appreciate a little bit too. of what I'm doing. I turn the camera a little. Um. So on my stencil before I start doing my patina paint. So I did a base coat of the fluff. Um, as because with patina, as Brandy explained yesterday, you always have to start with a base coat of um, the Dixie Bell paint. You can pick any color you want, so it's really easy. Um, and then I'm going to go over it with my bronze patina and do the blue split spray and the green spray because I want the green spray colors to come up a little bit more on top. And I may even leave some of the white um, from the from the fluff like peeking through. But when I set my stencil down, for those of you at home watching that like to do stencils on things, I used a little bit of the Dixie Bells clear coat to help me get a little bit of a better seal before I start um, really going in with the patina. And I'll probably have to do some touch-ups a little bit here and there once I pull it up, but I'm probably gonna get started with that and then I'll do the legs and the accents on the sides. So, so you did, you make the, did you make that stencil? I did, yeah. I cut and sell and make my own stencils for my signs okay. and my projects, and yeah. So was that you, was you that just a? Too, right? I have a silhouette, yeah. You do, okay. And but I'm like, own... I'm a novice. I really am, am learning it still. It has a learning curve, and yeah. I've made a few signs, but I'm still, I'm still getting the hang of it. Signs are yeah, not my I... thing. Signs are your thing. 
I still feel like I'm still learning something new every time I get a custom order that's like something out of the ordinary. I think like, ooh, am I going to be able to do this? And then I just, you know, it just takes me longer. But then once I learn it, I feel like yeah. I've got that in my tool. So it's okay. Yeah. So I'm yeah, that's about, true. I'm my um, and I got, I got the newest silhouette. And the problem with that is that um, there's not a lot of videos out on how to use it yet on Whoa, YouTube and stuff. Yeah. So I'm trying to learn off old videos that are showing different software and it's, <clears throat> that's been a challenge. Um, oh, that's hard. You guys, I do want to, I do want to say that um, it is really, really windy in California today. Really windy, like hurricane style winds in California. Ooh. So my Wi-Fi signal, I'm hoping it carries with us, but um, that could be why you're experiencing blurriness. If so, you can try getting off and getting back on again, or um, you can also catch us on replay, and it should um, it should be fine. I, it could just be the initial broadcast because of my Wi-Fi. Um, okay. So, so what do you what do you what are you doing first? What what's that you have out? I think I have the bronze patina out, and I think okay. you can't really. See. Here we go. There we are. So you guys, I'll just have you guys watching the hand first. I just kind of go in from the side so I don't get too much bleed through. I'll do one coat and then go back with another and then do my spray. Um, but I'm just going to see, kind of play around with the spray and see what happens. I did bring my hair dryer out just in case it was like super slow going. Yeah. Um, so my piece... I started out with Dixie Belle Driftwood, um, is what I'm putting on the top. It has a coat of Dixie Belle Bond underneath it, and then I put the one at the top, and it's going to fade into my copper patina. Um, so I just added a fresh coat of the um, Driftwood, and now this is one coat of the copper patina, and the second coat is where it's where the magic happens. Ooh, I can't um, wait to see it. Um, you know what? Like, what, what would be your favorite patina if you had to pick one between the copper, the bronze, and the iron? Well, first, my motto is I love anything rusty, crusty, and a little bit dusty. So at first, <laughs> I thought it was going to be the rusty patina. <laughs> yeah. And then... Then I loved the copper because I used started using that. But now, honestly, I can say I think I like I think the bronze might be my favorite. Um, I love the colors that come out of the bronze. The blue in the bronze is so rich. Yeah, and it's a it's little totally, toned down. Um, they're they're all so different. Yeah, they are, and I like to be able to like layer them a little bit too. But I have to say, I do like to use the um, the iron on, like, mason jars and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I did a pair of, like, you know those metal, like, wall decor stars I did in the, um, in the iron? And they, were, they came out so pretty. They started out, like, you know, garish, cheap-looking red. Um, yeah. Hi, Valerie. Yeah, this, this is Rita from Picked and Polished. Um, hi. So you want to know what my problem is going to be, though? This is my copper, wow. and I have scraped it dry. Uh -oh. So, um, yeah, I know. Well, yeah, so bronze? yesterday, um, yesterday when I was doing this, I did brush in some of the bronze and the iron on the front. So I am going to mix today. Yeah, there you go. Um, That'll look beautiful. What's uh, your favorite? Gets, like, is the bronze your favorite? Or do you have your favorite? I'm, I'm hands down on the bronze is my favorite. Like, without a question, I love, I love the you know, colors. I think that I like that it's a little more toned down than the copper. Like, it's not quite as um, orange. It's a little more. Yeah. I tend to stick with, like, orange colors and neutrals. So I think for me, it's probably more versatile. Um. Yeah, so, I mean, the copper, the blue that comes from the copper is like a really tealy blue, like the front of this here, and the blue that comes out of the bronze is so much deeper. Um, so, so I just kind of brushed in yeah. some of the bronze. And, ooh, 
you're you're rolling, girl. I'm gonna get one. Well, Lisa, I have to do a second cup. So this is my this is gonna be my mermaid fin right here. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not like a freehand artist by any means. I also Please. like that you can texture this stuff. Like you can make it, you can stipple it and kind of make it look textured. Yeah. Um, but when I go to the other side, I'm going to show that even, even though it looks like it has really te rich texture, it actually dries pretty smooth. Um, it, it doesn't even like wipe off to your hand. I'll show you when I move my dresser to the other side. So I'm just like going to town. Do you here. ever use the do you ever use the patina and have like your base coat almost like a use the patina like a dry brush ever? Um, you know what I never have. I never have. And there's so many things I want to do with it. Um, I want to also do where it's like dripping down into another color, into Ooh. a regular Dixie Bell color. Yeah, I would love to try that. See, that would go along with my crusty, dusty, and rusty theme <laughs> that I've got going yeah. on. <laughs> it would look super crusty if I did that. Wonders are the magic. I put this on the me. I just put my spray on the blue, the blue and the green sprayer on here now. Here we go. So I feel like I could go back mm -hmm. over this with some white wax and give it some definition. Oh, that's I'm a done. good idea. You know, just like in between the fins, maybe like because yeah. right now I have some of the white thing, but I think if I like put a line of white wax or even fluff down the middle here and here to break up that big fin right there, I don't know. We'll see what happens once I get my second coat. And maybe some pearlescent, um, pearlescent glaze would be pretty for a mermaid. Oh, that's an awesome idea. Can I steal that from you? <laughs> but of course. Because um, you know, and that's so, when I, I teach fourth grade and we used to call that piggybacking off of each other. Yeah. I just sprayed my second coat. And, idea, okay? <laughs> and it's starting to turn. Can you see the colors in that? It is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, see it. I know. My son's sitting here. You can just sit here and watch patina paint. It's actually really entertaining. It is. My kids are always amazed. I actually have a board that kind of shows, like, when people come for workshops, they can see, like, the different combinations before they try it on anything. Yeah, because so it is just, hard. I mean, this is what I'm starting just, with. Um, and leaving, leaving it sitting long enough, it's going to turn to this. It just, you can't even really envision it until you do it. And I think you used a sponge on yours, right? Last a night, bunch of the a sponge kind of brushed it together. Yeah, I just, um, I really was just like scribbling with my brush, making brush strokes. So I'll bring you guys in close and you can see what the brush strokes did. You can see all the brush strokes in it. Um, what is that over oh, here? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I like, I like. I... Sorry. I haven't um, tried I like the... it. You could throw a little bit of copper in on your mermaid tail too. The, um, the two blues together would be really pretty. Yes, I should totally. I'm going to piggyback that idea again, Brandy. <laughs> I, I love it. Um, so I'm going to turn mine, and this is, the next, this is the next step. We'll, All right, so we'll now come back. Before my, before my bronze dries, I'm going to go ahead and use the spray, because I know that with patina, after the second coat, I'm going to get some spray on Excuse there. Me. So let me grab Bless you. Spray. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, by the way. All right, so I'm going to 
right, your husband's name is Dave. Your husband's name is Jason, right? Huh? Your husband is Jason, right? Yes. Hi. Okay. Hi, Jason. <laughs> Hi. Um, you guys Hi. like and share this video. We're going to be giving away some Dixie Wall paint tonight. If you guys like and share this video. We're giving away some paint live on this broadcast. That's fun. I love your spinner. Oh, I just got that. It's so fun. My That's kids are so in love. Cool. They, think, they think it's the coolest oh, thing yeah. ever. My girls so are this is, too. This right. is my side that has dried overnight. This is the copper. Same thing I just did on the other side. This is just the dry stage. I just want to show you. If I wipe this with my hand... It, it doesn't come off and it, it feels smooth to the touch. So this is exactly what I just got done doing on the other side. That's really cool. Ooh, that's I love the way you that's blended super everything. Um, I'm, I'm using some um, pearl glaze on it. I can't wait to see that on top. Just for that little bit of shimmer, you know? Oh. Gotta have your shimmer. I think <laughs> yeah. I used to joke and say that when I have two little girls, I used to joke and say that we use glitter like a spice in our house. <laughs> do you only have girls? Do you have any boys? I do. I have just two girls. Oh, okay. So you only have girls. Man, I wouldn't yeah. survive a day in the house. <laughs> I'm with you, Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm all no, alone over here. Husband, it's, it's just me and my dog my are the only girls teacher. in the house. Uh, What's that? My husband's a teacher and he works with mostly women all day. And then he comes home to women. He can't catch a break. That's so, that's so funny. My husband works for a bank and he works with mostly women too. But he comes home to men all the time. <laughs> Right, so he gets he gets a yeah he gets a little break. Although we've got a, he does have a can you lift up just a little bit because I'm a headless painter. Um, he does get a little break because he's got a couple really good guys that work with him too. So I shouldn't say all women, but mostly. Do you guys work, all right? And then, do you guys work in do you work in your shop together? Sometimes, yeah, we've gotten to, we've gotten kind of more towards the smaller pieces. He used to build a lot of furniture and stuff, but uh, uh, we're yeah. kind of working towards smaller things and smaller pieces of furniture, like, you know, dressers that aren't too ginormous. And, and so I actually built the shop, actually. Yeah, he did. He built my shop, Brandy. From really? The yeah. Is it a it building outside, outside your house? It is. Our house is the size of an acorn, so we had to have, like, a separate space. <laughs> I, our shop is, like, maybe half the size of our house. And our shop wow. Is you should move out there. <laughs> yeah. Well, we kind of did. We had family visiting, and we made it our, like, little hideaway bungalow. Yes, the it's weekend, the tiny house the movement. You guys are ahead right. of the times with the so tiny cool. house. Yeah. All right. So now I think I'm going to do a little copper, like you were saying. Should I just, do you think I should just go over it while the patina spray is wet? Yeah, it, it works as long as your paint okay. is wet. You might have some of your base coat show through, but it works. Okay. I'm going to go for it. Why not? That's for fun of patina, you guys. Those of you that are watching, you need to really like just go for it and have some fun with it because it really is amazing what you can do with this product it's so much it's like fun. you said I actually you can keep a friend who's sorry we are on a delay so i feel like i'm always interrupting you i know i know that's the worst part about these lives if i just like do that i don't know what i'm doing well um like you said if you don't like it you 
Sorry, backsplash in, you know, those old tin tiles that she found? And she moved her backsplash in Tina. How pretty would that be? Oh, yeah. That's perfect. And then seal right? it with some gator hide, and it's super durable. Yep. It'll last forever. So, so I just put some... Um, some pearlescent glaze on here. Can't probably see that on camera, but it's a little shimmery. Are you putting it on? And now I'm, um, I just put the glaze on here, some pearl glaze, and now I'm gonna Ooh. seal it. I wanna see. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but I bet when you get an after photo, we'll really be able to see it. Did it lighten up the patina at all? Yeah, you know, it gets that, like, um, the haze that's on it, it, it took yeah. that off. Oh, um, that's cool. Hannah, Gator Hide is Dixie Belle's um, super durable top coat. It's water repellent. It is, it dries rock hard. It's great for things like um, dining room tables, a backsplash, like Rita was saying. Um, it is their most durable top coat. Okay. Brandy, so. I would drink if I could. I would drink Gator Hide if I could. I think don't do, don't do that. No, don't drink Gator. But the only reason why I, I have to say the only reason why I say that is because I'm a colorectal cancer survivor and I joke about it and I say maybe Gator Hide would protect my colon because <laughs> that stuff is good. <laughs> you, you know what I you read that how long how long ago was your was your cancer experience? Um, I was diagnosed in 2014. Um, wow. And I had about a year and a half years of like treatments and hold on, sorry, treatments and, um, you know, all that stuff, surgeries and an ileostomy bag and all that good stuff. And then um, I had the big heavy chemo and then I had my ileostomy bag taken off like, I don't know, like six months later and it was. No, but I'm here. I had an amazing team of doctors, and I had amazing support, family, friends. My little community just rallied around our family, and we could not have done it without everybody's support. So just one of those that things, is especially when you have that type of cancer that lends itself to a lot of jokes, a lot of good jokes. Yeah. You have to have Yeah, you have to be able to laugh about it. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's true. Right. So, so I'm like um, – 2016, so like two years out, knock wood, of wow. cancer-free zone. So yeah, so that's, that's amazing because you're really, you're really young, huh? You're really young to have had that experience. Yeah, you know, and I, that's part of the reason why I talk about it because I think people need to know that it's. Um, it's not uncommon anymore for young people like me. I was 36 when I was diagnosed and for a long time they dismissed my symptoms because I yeah. was, and um, I think it just, the data hasn't caught up with the times type of thing. Yeah. But they're starting to realize. So, you know, I always say, get your biscuits checked if you are concerned. <laughs> I love it. So anyway, back to the back to the gator hide. It is amazing stuff. And it, I'm going to be redoing my kitchen cabinets, and I'll have no hesitation to put that all over my cabinet. So, and I have two little ones. All right. So um, I've, I've, I've got the um, patina. You guys can see it's already turning. Can you guys see that? Yeah, go down a little bit closer. It's, it's hard it to see. Mermaid? I feel like I need more yes. spray. I was stingy. I was stingy with the spray, Brandy. You can never, yeah. I'm stingy with the spray too because I'm always, I'm always scared I'm going to run out. Yeah, that, and I'm worried about bleed through under the thing. But again, worst case scenario, I just paint over it with some fluff. Not a big deal. Right? Yeah, that's true. But then there's that hand painting you don't like doing. There we go. That's right. But I always tell people, don't get a panic. My dad was from Greece, and he always used to say in that Greek voice, that Greek accent, don't get a panic. So I tell Ooh, my are customers you when they come to the truck. Yes. 
Um, so you have you spent time? In, have you spent time in Greece then? I have not as much as I would have liked, and my kids have never been. But maybe one day we'll all go over. Yeah, yeah, you got to. How old? How old are your boys? So mine are four. Um, Logan is my four-year-old. Ashton is my seven-year-old, and Noah is my ten-year-old. Okay, so, and you're an entrepreneur, so where's your golden sash that you need to be wearing? <laughs> right. I'm yeah, sure they're going to get me one for, for Mother's Day. I'm one. sure that's golden what they're going to get me. Entrepreneur of three. That's amazing. <laughs> does, does a golden sash go with yoga pants? It does, yes. It's designed oh, to go good. with yoga okay. pants, actually. Yeah. You're, I'm glad you covered, my friend. That's my wardrobe. Yeah, me too. My, you know, one day I went to um to my daughter's school to volunteer, and I was wearing a clean shirt and jeans. And my mom, my daughter, the sweet, she's so sweet. She says to me in the sweetest little voice, "Mom, you look so pretty today." And I said, "Oh, honey, I'm just wearing jeans and a t-shirt." She said, "I know, but usually you dress in rags." <laughs> They always know how to say the right thing. <laughs> covered in paint. Look at this, you guys. Look at the Dixie Bell magic here, people. It's amazing. This is my favorite part Lori, of wrestling. I still have to take off the scale. Lori, Whoa. the um, spray is, is Dixie Bell Patina Spray. So when you order the Patina Spray um, or visit one of our retailers, you can choose a spray it comes in a blue and a green and then you can choose your paint color to go with it and you can mix and match these um, the sprays and the paint colors um, they come in the spray bottle Valerie Reed is in New Hampshire oh my gosh that is so pretty are you like kidding it? me yeah it's perfect okay, so now I'm still fill in the bottom see where there's like a separation I need to like do that freehand thing that I'm not great at yet. Yeah. Yes, my three letter well, word. You keep the heck of a project, didn't you? I did. Hey, go big or go home, right? <laughs> um, I'm putting, so the front of my piece I did yesterday and I co coated it in the pearl glaze and then I put gator hide on it. And now I'm putting best stain wax in brown because I want it to be extra grungy looking. Ooh. I love it. The grungier, the better. Yeah. Uh, crusty, rusty, and what's that? A little bit musty or dusty, whichever you prefer. <laughs> so, okay. Um, the brown so wax is just What do you guys Ooh, think yeah, about get in the there close. I haven't done patina it, right here yet, but I'm going to. It what is so think? cool. The colors so are perfect. I'm going to copy your technique from last night and put some sponging down there. Oh, um, yeah, there you go. But you know, I like that it's kind of spotty too, sure that it's a little drippy. Oh, yeah, I don't want to soak up too much of it, right? Kind of leave. Oh, my gosh, that was perfect. It... Thank you. My next I'm so project. I'm trying to blend like you do. Okay, so, whoops, sorry. All right, so now guys, I'm just kind of dabbing with a sponge just to help it dry a little. And then I'm gonna try to do the edges. Can you lift it um, up so that I'm you can you can see too, I did the, I did that side and the foot already. So that'll match it, the tail. It looks like an old bronze I'll, foot. It looks very real. It's probably because I've watched a lot of your videos. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's got to be the reason. You're amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it is. Girl, I'm just a mom painting in a garage. Me too. I used to be, I'm just <laughs> thankful I'm not so 
my sitting on my cold garage floor right now. I, we put this up on the table because I'm too like spleeny now to get down on the floor. Yeah, my knees bother me all the time. How I bet they do. Okay. Um, I hit it with some brown wax, which kind of deepened the colors, and I did more heavier down here at the bottom. So it kind of fades as it goes up. And now I'm adding just some black wax just to grunge up the corners. And I use these little... I can't wait to get with... Yeah, me neither, because that means I finished another piece. <laughs> Yay! I feel yeah, like I just can't out. ever do a piece with one, with one layer. Like, I have to put at least three different pro Dixie Bell products on things before I'm done. Um, yeah, so I feel like Dixie Bell really changed how I look at layering products. It's not intimidating. Everything goes together, even the waxes and the beater hides and the glazes. And um, they just make it so easy, and they have everything. They do. They really do. It's easy to use. It's easy to clean. It's easy to practice with. And I think... What I find in my workshops is, um, sorry, I have to hold the phone for a second, but that people are always surprised at how easy it actually really can be. Um, yeah. And I always say, if I can do it, they certainly can do it. It's not, yeah. I think this takes a little I, practice, but it'd be amazing. Like they can just go, like I've had people come that have never painted anything before and they leave leave a workshop with like a beautiful piece and it's because the product is so easy and they just kind of let yeah. their imaginations go and they are willing to take the risk and when they're done they're always so proud of what they do yeah it um yeah exactly you know people would look at something like your piece with the mermaid tail or you know all the colors in this and think it was so elaborate and so difficult and it was really the paint did it for us yes i totally agree with that I think that it helped, like, it just, it, like, makes me want to try new things. I feel like it's helped me up my game in a lot of ways because I feel like I'm not yeah. intimidated now to things that I might not have tried before. So um, if any of you guys are watching and you're wondering if you should give it a try, I mean, the nice thing is they have the small sizes, the 8-ounce um, mm -hmm. containers for nine ninety five, And so you really, I mean, all you need are a couple products, and you can make, like, a billion different finishes with just a few products, I feel like. Don't you Yeah, agree? Dixie Belle is so reasonably priced. Like, um, comparing it to most brands out there, it is one of the most reasonably yeah. priced. Um, Angela, yes, they do ship to Canada, but you guys, you can also go on the Dixie Belle website because sometimes you need to see something, you need to touch it, you want to see the colors in the container. You can go on the Dixie Belle website and you can look for a retailer in, in your area. And there are retailers all over the country, in the US and some in Canada too. Um, so you can walk in and see the product and all of the retailers are trained in how to use them and can help you pick things for your project. Um, sorry, Sharon, yes, we will both post our um, pieces. Mine will be posted at my page, Brush by Brandy, and then Rita's will be on her page at Picked and Polished. Um, you guys like okay. to hear this post? Throw out some comments. We're gonna... Oh, you don't ship to Canada. Oh, I thought you did ship to Canada. I'm sorry. But I, New Hampshire's not far from some of the Canadian areas. There you go. Make a little vacation. Mommy? What's up, sweet? Oh, see me. My, my big tiny. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It died when me and Noah were awake. I was like, Noah, it's only opening. It's not been moving one thing. And then earlier, um, I told Noah. So you guys, I'm sorry. My, this is my four-year-old. No, you... His goldfish just died. Oh no! I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah. It's awful. So I'm sorry. I'm Brandy, just if you break break. 
No, if you need to take a little break with him, go for it. I'll finish showing them the bottom of the dresser. We, we are okay. I'm going to keep going. He's just going to hang out with me. Okay. What a brave boy you have. Yeah, we are um, really we're doing the pet thing. Do you guys have any pets in your house? No, but we dog sit and dog oh, okay. walk. And yes, so we get the fill without the responsibilities. <laughs> yeah. the see what, see uh, what, I, we, what, what we did there? <laughs> You're smart. Um, we just got the kids guinea pigs, too, and then we have a pug. But she's super old and blind oh. and doesn't get out of the bed. Aww. <laughs> How do you like having guinea pigs? Hey, you buddy. Answer that? What's, what's his name? Hey. It's Can I ask that on TV? Yeah, this is Logan that I'm holding. Hi, Logan. I'm Rita. How are you, honey? It's good to see you he on here. Good. I'm sorry that that happened. You. We so will get another one. Huh? What's your guinea pig's name, Logan? What's here? We'll have Ashton talk to you about What's it. Your guinea pig's name? So, Sierra and Rocky. Sierra Ooh, and like Rocky. Those. After the mountain. You... Oh, you know what? My husband and I used to live in Colorado in the Rockies. The Rockies, yes, the Rocky Mountain. They came from That's the pet so store with cool. that name, and I, I don't think they realized the significance of it. Aww. Were they brother and sister when you picked them out? It's a mother-daughter. Oh, we didn't, awesome. We didn't want any, um, any mating going on, so we avoided a boy-girl. <laughs> Plus, you needed some growth in the house, right? Is that how you're getting yeah. here? And, and yeah. we especially didn't want mating brothers and sisters. No, no. I can totally understand why. Yeah, that's a bad yeah, idea. I, <laughs> yeah, I thought about getting guinea pigs, but my husband talked me out of it. They're so cute and fluffy and pudgy. Um, You so, know, I like them I just their cage I it's got to be clean all the time or it drives me nuts yeah I think I would have trouble with that too especially since our house is the size of an acorn yeah, <laughs> yeah you would smell it everywhere if they were um right. there'd yeah. be no escape you couldn't just shut a door and walk away no yeah no no they're they're in my son's room and I can smell it no matter where and so we have to clean it like every three days. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. So we're we're litter box training them. I didn't know you can litter train guinea pigs, but we are litter training yeah. our guinea pigs. They're smart little guinea pigs. Yeah, smart little guys or girls. So I'm going to go, Brandy, I've got this edge done, like um, doing a second coat of my bronze. And I'm going to okay. go Okay, is it pretty spraying. dry? Yeah. Um, it dry, and that's another thing, you guys, about the Dixie Belle paint. It dries so quick that it, I mean, like, you can do so many projects because it dries quick, and then you know whether or not you like the way something comes out, and you can adjust it yeah. or add layers, and I mean, it's just amazing. All right, so before the second coat is dry, I'm going to go ahead and spray my patina. Um, and you guys can see how the mermaid's coming out. Look at that. Whoa. I'm that is seriously that. the coolest okay. thing. That was the best idea. And those dressers, like, from the 80s, they all had a seashell at the bottom. And that is the perfect way to embellish it. Yes. And you know what? I think the seashell used to kind of bug me a little but now I feel like I've embraced the seashell yes embrace the seashell you guys embrace the 80s seashell so yeah, um, as you guys can see it. I overprayed a little and I got a little on my dresser but that's okay because I'll just go over it with some fluff later 
And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to just spray some here on the leg, right there, like that. This is your second coat of the bronze? Yep, and then I'm doing two, I'm doing the green and the blue spray. And it's dripping on the bottom one, but that's okay. This is kind of a messy thing. It's not something you want to do like on your nice floor without a floor cover. Because it's going to yeah. drip. Um, Although last I night I had clean up. I don't know. It's just vinegar and some salt and um, I think hydrogen peroxide. There's a few different things in there that make up the spray. And it's not like I've never had trouble cleaning it off. But then again, I don't have like a super fancy house. So I wouldn't. My floors are white distressed. So it really lends itself to hiding um, things that I do with paint that shouldn't be done to do like your... drippy things that fall. Did you do your floors yourself? I did. But I did them way um, before I had, I knew anything about painting things. Um, yeah. And the belt, yeah. the belt sander still like terrifies me when I go near it. <laughs> Cause I, I spent way too many hours with that bad boy. Well, I think it's time to return it to their home improvement center then. Yes, I saw. Maybe I, you know what I do love is my nail gun. I would like cuddle up with that at night if I could. Yeah. That's my favorite. All right, guys. So check this out. You can see where the patina layers are and it might not match exactly on the other side, but that's okay. That's kind of like, I don't want it to look like matchy, matchy because I want it to look like it happened on its own in like yeah, that's the beauty of this. So, right? So you don't have to worry about, like, if it's exactly one way or another. What do you guys think? I think like, I'm going to put this on its own. I think, I don't know, but I wanted to know from you guys if you thought I should patina the top or not. Um, what, what do you, you guys think? think? Patina on the top or, or leave it white? Just. Just around, like it's got like a framed out top. I was thinking just the framed out middle part. I don't know. And then I'm gonna pull off my scales. Are you ready? That's gonna be cool because it's gonna give it like. Oh my god. So I got a little. Do you see where the scales are? Yes, I love this project. Oh my gosh, oh. that is beautiful. Thank you. My husband's going to look take at all the, the credit for this. You know? The speckles that are in there with the green and the blue, and there's pe places of the bronze peeking through. It so Hannah says, like... leave the top. Hannah says, what leave the say? top white. She said, leave it white. Katerina says, paint it. Leslie says, white. <sighs> Decisions. This is going to be tough, you guys. Jason says white. I think white. Wait, why white? I'm afraid it's going to look too, I don't know. I can't decide. Why don't I, you know what I should do is start going over it with some uh, black wax, giving it some like weathered look and maybe that'll help me decide. Yeah. Maybe, right, so maybe it just needs some little, some, some clamshells at the top. Cause that would be her top. Oh, up there. I, that's why I go live with you right there. So then I can like <laughs> get all these ideas and then claim this them is to a be brain, mine. It's a brainstorming session. So it looks like that's the majority are saying leave it white. They think okay. it would take white away from the tail. Okay. You guys are, you guys are the boss. I love it. The other thing I wanted to mention so about they all the patina with, oh, sorry. The patina with the they also think Did white you tell them? What? They all said they buy it if you leave it white. Okay. White it is. Definitely white. Um, okay. What were you saying about gator hide? So did you tell them about already about how the gator hide, some people go into like sheer panic mode when they gator hide over their patina because it like darkens it at first and makes it look totally different and people start to hyperventilate. 
And then I say, it's okay. It's going to go back to the way it looked before you gator hide it. So if you're trying the patina and you, um, and you go over it with the gator hide, it looks as though it, the gator hide is like making the patina go away almost, but it'll come back exactly the way it was after you're done. Has that been your experience? Yeah, it changes it. So I'm going to take you guys back to this side. This is the one I just did. I'll try to get it on camera better. Um, but it's did your totally. Speech? Yeah, this is the side I did at the very beginning of the video. Yeah. And you see, it's got this like this like milky haze on it. Yeah. What's that from? The gate. That's a uh, just part of the patina. But when you top coat it, it will it will take that away, and it will. So I don't have gator hide out, but I have the pearl glaze. I'll throw some on here. So just so you can see what it does. Sorry, my camera angle is super bad. I'm, I'm going to start on. peeling my tape. I feel like the sides look like they were, they've been in the bottom of the ocean. Like the sides of the, like a buried treasure from the ocean. Okay. And I did leave, I left some of the edges like distressed and I didn't like get a complete coat of the fluff because I wanted it to have like a, um, you know, like a worn salt wash sort of weathered feel. Um, yes, I think I am going through. Oh, I love that, Brandy. It looks so pretty. So this is, um, this is kind of what you this is kind of what you're talking about where when you put a top coat on it, this is pearl glaze, but it's, it's doing the same thing that the top coat would. Um, but you can see this line where I haven't put anything over it and where I have, it just makes those colors so much richer. Yeah, it does. It kind of so pulls yeah, this everything side, out. It looks a little bit different than my front and that's okay. Okay, I'm going to put some, I think I'm going to put some um, fluff on the tail here, just to give this tail some definition. Can you lift it up a little bit, honey? And then, there you go. Like that, okay. Is that your, your waxes? I think I'm going to try the fluff first and see what happens. Oh, okay. And then, I don't know. See, this is when I start to get a little bit nervous. So you guys can yeah, see this, um, this is pearlescent glaze, but it just brought out the colors in the side. And that's what happens when you seal it too with a clear coat. So I don't have my clear coat on hand. So I'm just putting a, the pearl glaze over it, but it, you know, that layer of moisture over the paint brings it to life once it's dry. I feel like you can see, it almost looks like it gave it like, um, it pulls the colors out to give it like more depth. Yeah. So I'll go back to the front now. No, no. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. There we go. And then you can see the waxes at the bottom that I've been putting on. The brown and the black are heavier, so it looks grungy, and then it fades up into these light beachy colors up here. Ooh, I like that a lot. Yeah, Katarina, go patina everything. Everything in your house is going to be rusty. Go buy new stuff so you can make it rusty. Absolutely. Yeah, it only makes sense. All right, now I'm going to try, I don't know how the wax will do on this while it's wet, so I think I'm just going to use the fluff for now, and then I'll probably yeah. go over, because like right now I'm doing the spots that are still wet from patina, so I can't really, I don't think I can go over that with wax yet, but the patina no, will turn a it a little bit wet too. Um, how does it look in person? I'm liking it, I think. I mean, yeah. it's, it's so different. 
from what I normally do. Yeah. What do you guys think? Can you tell I, you me? You know, patina pieces. Is yeah. Okay. It is perfect. I'm you. so in love. All right, so we're gonna switch. You send mine to to me. You send yours to me, and I'll send mine to your your house. Perfect, because um, I'm sure my boys would totally want a mermaid dresser. They would. <laughs> they totally would. Yeah. Tell them I made it especially for them. You know, it's kind of funny because I got a bunch of glitter paint recently, glitter paint additive, and I thought, oh, this is going to be super girly. My boys are in love with the with the they glitter. Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. So yeah, we are breaking gender roles over here. Watch out now. <laughs> you guys are rocking the house with the glitter. See, it'll be a spice yeah. in your house too before you know it. There and you so go. You guys, do you think black wax or brown? I want to know what people are wondering or thinking. Can you lift that up just a little bit? Black or brown wax for an accent? Um, we're pixelated. Hey, Betty, um, the, the wind in California today is so bad. So, yeah, our signal might be fading. Um, you can go off and come back on again and see if that helps. Who wouldn't want a mermaid dresser? Exactly, Rebecca. The mermaid dresser is awesome. I think black. But yours is very ocean themed too. Like my dresser could swim on your dresser. Yeah. Because yours is like the we ocean. Could, we could stack them and take pictures of it. Yeah. Or someone could then, buy them as a set. Oh, yes. Even better. Right? Even better. Yes. Themed room. Right. All right. I think I'm going to go. I'm feeling like I should do the brown wax because the copper and the bronze have the brown tones. Uh, true. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Normally I do black because I'm a farmhouse girl and I'm a headless girl right now. There we go. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Appreciate it. Can you guys hear the coyotes? No. No, they're going crazy. They must really like this dresser. <laughs> We totally live in the stick. We live in the willy wax. It's okay. Um, are, you, are you guys safe right now? Do we need to send help? <laughs> we, we paint amongst the coyotes here in New Hampshire. Yes. Please go inside. I've seen Animal Planet. This doesn't end well. <laughs> So this is my hardware, and it has this kind of rusty color, and I only cleaned it with dish soap, and I left the natural patina on it, and That's it looks really cool. I love it. It matches perfectly. Yeah, I'm not going to change it. It's beautiful. No. All right, I'm going for the kill here with the plant brown. Yeah, I think. Come around. Yeah, Kay and Vicky both say brown. Brown, okay. Brown it is, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Um, the other thing I love about the Dixie Belle wax is it doesn't have that horrendous, it has like no smell. And I probably am not supposed to put it on my hand, but I use my hand as a palette and it's never like hurt my hand. Um, ah. It just like, it's so easy. Look at that. I get like a nice even wax. And then I like to use it with a dry brush too. Um, I like to like, I did this on my last video on here. I just like tap out. They're probably not going to like that I'm showing you how to do this on my hand. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be official. <laughs> and I just put barely any wax, and I just kind of go over nice and light, and I get like a really even, like dirty, like grungy sort of finish. But it's not like three, you know? There we go. Yeah, I do. I've used a lot of waxes, and Dixie Bell's wax are, they're thinner and smoother, so you yeah. get that even coverage. Yeah. You know, sometimes you want a blotchier look, but for, for the smooth, even coverage, they win hands down. Yeah, I totally agree with that. It is the best day in wax. <laughs> I mean, it says so, okay. so it has to be. Right. Um, 
And you know what I do for when I want it to be thicker and um, when I want it to just sit in certain spots is I have cans that I've left open and they're old and they're a yeah. little hardened. And then I use Ooh. those to, um, to just detail wax when I just want to hit a certain spot. Like, a, you um, mean like crisp line or do you mean like with more of a smear? Um, kind of like say a corner like this, if I just wanted to give the corner some definition, I will use a, yeah. the hardened wax. Oh, that's, that's good. Cause I actually have a jar that I could probably use for that. That I, um, I was using tin foil as my lid and it didn't like that very much. So yeah, I did, no, that didn't work I, out. It, no, that was like a total, like, you know, it was a new England resourceful move. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's what us moms that. have to do. We have to be resourceful. That's right. So do not cover your, your um, wax and tin foil. That's your tip of the day. Lesson number one by Rita Precott. Do not cover. Use your lid. Don't um, lose it. Although it's still usable, but it's just like, like you were saying, it's a little bit harder. So I should be yeah. for that. Um. So Lisa, Lisa says mineral spirits will um, soften your waxes. Oh, that's a good tip. I might have some of that on hand. Can you guys see how this is like changing the white a little? It's like giving it some um, almost like shadowing around the edges and a little bit more of like a grungy look, not as crisp white. I don't know, because there's some glare coming off the camera. So hold on, let me try to tip it. All right, can you guys well, see and that? I would love to say, this... I'm, I'm not even looking at your wax because I'm just staring at that mermaid tail. You're so funny. <laughs> I need to give her a name, like Esmeralda or something. Oh, that's a good one. It sounds exotic. Yeah, do you guys Is have any thoughts on the it needs something, some... not Ursula. Yeah, no, that's a fat, ugly mermaid. That's the mean one. We will throw out some names, you guys. What's a good mermaid name? Um, yeah, what's a good we mermaid are getting close... for the dress? We are getting close to our Dixie Belle um, paint giveaway, so throw out some mermaid names, guys. Oh, Give us a good one. one. Share and throw out some mermaid names for the dresser. And then when I post okay, we have for the, sale, I'll pick a name. We have Minerva, Ariel. I love it. It's awesome. If you had a mermaid, what would you name it? Another Ariel. Oh, Annabelle. Matilda. You know what, you guys, I have Matilda. a friend, her daughter's name is Matilda, and they call her Tilly, and it's so cute. Oh, oh that is cute. Love that. What are your girls' names? Sophia and Mia. Oh, how cute. And they're just, they're good girls. We have a lot of fun, a lot of adventures here in how the Willy Wax together. How old are they? They're five and eight, soon to be nine and six. Oh, you, they're the same ages as mine. We should have a play date. We should. We should do a FaceTime play date. Yeah, next time we're in New Hampshire, we'll stop by. Okay, bring you guys go, go, to the, go to the Dixie Bell website and look up your local retailer. They're all over the United States. You can go in yeah. and you can see these products in person. Our retailers are all educated on how to help you, what you, oh, I made a look at your what, you <laughs> what you need for your project. Mommy? Um, Lexi, Crystal. Mama? Amanthia. Oh, that's different. Ameth Amathina. Ooh. Melanie. Desdemona. That's Melanie. cute. Arabella. I like Arabella. Oh. That sounds like a romantic mermaid. I like that too. Um, so, what do you say, Rita? Do you want to give away some paint? Yes, 
Of course I do. So um, we have our Dixie Bow wheel and you guys can see on here all these cool prizes. It has slick stick and top coat, um, has a jackpot, which the jackpot would be the patina paint, um, a patina paint and spray. So. Oh my goodness. Who's it gonna be? So let's, let's pick a winner. Um, Betty, are you still on here? Betty, are you still watching? You gave us a mermaid name. Okay, girl, I'm gonna let you spin to win. So this is for Betty. All right, Betty, good luck. Here we go. What are you gonna win? I see her. Betty Hiltz won 16 ounces of Dixie Belle paint. Yay, that's a good one to win. Yes, so congratulations, Betty. You get, you get to pick a color. Congratulations. Message me um, on my page at Brush by Brandy with your color and your shipping information, and we will get you 16 ounces of paint sent out. How fun. That's awesome. Um, Rita, I absolutely love your project. It's so inspirational. You were so fun to chat with. Um, I'm going to hopefully finish up today and get this one uh, photos taken tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to, I'll shoot for the same deadline then for mine, because I'm, I'm getting there. I'm just okay. about done. I'm going to leave the top white. I cannot wait to see pictures of yours. You always do such a beautiful job staging your pieces too. So um, I'll, I'll look forward to I'll put up, I'll put up a side by side when yours is done too. Oh, they're like sister, they're like sister and sister dressers. Yeah. 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 They belong so together, thank you but so they're much. apart. Thank and thank you, you for Brandy. being so awesome. Our Dixie Bell family is so amazing and I feel so lucky to be a part of it. They are, and I agree totally. So hopefully we can do this again sometime soon. It was great. Yes. You guys have a good weekend and a happy Mother's Day. And everybody watching, happy Mother's Day to you guys too. Happy Mother's Day. Bye. Bye.